Testing, one, two, one, two, can you all hear me? If you all can hear me and it sounds okay, can you all put an emoji in the chat, please? Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, one, two. Alright, if you all can hear me, please put an emoji in the chat feed if it sounds okay. Alright, if you all can hear me, please put an emoji in the chat feed if it sounds okay. Uh, Allison, thank you for letting me know. Uh, Chrissy, thank you for the host. And, okay, so... Okay, hold on. Stupid piece of crud. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm getting like everything mixed up. Hold on. Put that down. Okay. Uh, okay. Desktop audio on. Yeah, the only survivor you all were hearing the, you know, me asking y'all if it was okay twice was because I had um, my Twitch 
channel up on my computer and the de and the desktop audio was on and you all heard it again so it was me repeating again let's see okay where's the game you're not gonna hear talking of nancy for a second while i get this game up hi i'm nancy drew since you can tell a lot about a person by where nope, he or she it. lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. Okay. Uh, alt tab. Hey, here's everybody. I'm Kibi Gives Me 99, and today, I'm about to say tonight, it is 1.12 in the afternoon. I'm not used to streaming like this. Um, but today, I'm going to be finishing Nature's View of the Bright Wolf by Signal Creek. Um... Oh, and tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be starting my Red Dead Redemption week. As you all know, Red Dead Red Redemption 2 is coming out Friday, well, technically Thursday night at midnight, um, and I am really excited for it, so I thought I would replay the game um, in preparation for the second game coming out. So I'm going to be streaming me again playing the game starting tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If y'all have not heard heard of the game, go look up a trailer. It is amazing. I love the game. It has to be one of, one of my favorite games that I've ever played. And it is amazing. I cannot wait to play it. Oh my gosh. And I'm hoping, just spitballing here, I got, um, I played the game in about 12 and a half hours throughout a month of me playing the game so I'm hoping that and I wasn't trying to speed through it or anything I was just playing it and it, and it took me 12 and a half hours to play it so um, I am hoping that I can beat it in 10 hours and if I can then I'm playing it for five days the fifth day is going to be the night that I go get the second game and I'm gonna play it um, so I'm hoping that I can play the entire game in five days, and I play it for two hours each day. So I'm hoping I can. Let's see if I can do it. But th that's not the game I'm playing today. I'm playing right now, Nature the Rival Press of Creek. So, honest, being honest here, how many times have you all played this game? I'm pretty sure I've played this game, like, I'm not even joking, like, 10 to 12 times. Uh, a Allison, Christine, hey, welcome to the stream. Glad you all can make it. Okay, my dog's okay. She's over there. I'm gonna check on her. Looks like the map to some kind of maze. The wolf followed me. I wonder if she expects me to do something. This game is like ridiculously hard to do. It is. It's, like, ridiculously hard to do. Um, like, I, I played it a lot because I liked it. And, plus, I've, I've streamed it, too, so I get to play all the games more. <laughs> a moose, a wolf, a raccoon, and a pig. The same animals Trapper Dan mentioned in his journal when it came to getting into his needle without the key. I'll bet that's what's behind this wall. A room below the needle. Next thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. Next thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. That was weird. Okay. Wow. So, how's the red dune today? I always do that. Nope. I think I did the wrong thing. I think I'm getting all mixed up. That must be the rope trapper Dan talked about in his journal. The one that's supposed to open something in the lodge. 
which means I must be somewhere under the lodge. Well, I walked far enough, that's for sure. Why can't I... I think I'm doing something wrong. I'm supposed to tell uh, uh, Isis to do something. Nope, stupid Nancy, come on. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Uh. Forward. Right. Left. Right. Jump. Isis. Forward. Right. Left. Right. Jump. Go. Oh, that's cool. The Castle of Malorva is a really good game. I like the make and drinks thing, it's really fun. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. It's like ridiculously cold where I'm at, so I'm kinda probably should get a jacket on or something. You know, even though I said I've been playing this for what, how long? I've been playing this for how long? I played this like what, ten times or something like that? You know, you'd think I'd know everything about this game, but I, I don't still. I don't. Uh, <laughs> Nancy, you gotta go. The loop isn't gonna hold the rope for long. I uh, <laughs> I told my mom that I had to that the longest thing it's gonna take me to do on this stream was um well is the Fox and Geese game. And she said, Oh I, I uh, like that game. <laughs> I said, I don't <laughs> it's fun, it's just it's ridiculously hard. Yeah, she and I've Played this game together. We played a lot of games. We haven't played the older games yet. We played a lot of the newer ones. This is the one the farthest back we've played, I think. I feel warmer already. The um the uh huh the uh. Um, the, we played the Silent Spy on Mother's Day, and she said that that's her favorite game now. Like, as of right now, that that's her favorite game. Clip of that, please. My jacket. I'm getting a definite feeling I'm not wanted here. No, really, I didn't know that. Whose room is this? Wait, which one are we in? That's uh, that's. Guadalupe, so she's no longer in here. Dang it, of course. How 
How's the game and everything, guys? Lou Talbot's gone, in case you didn't know. Just up and left. Uh-oh. Chantal's not gonna like that. The good news is, you don't have to do the cooking anymore. I can handle it from here on out. Yay! I'll get out of your hair now. By the way, you dumped the laundry bag before all the rooms were cleaned, so I put it back up at the front desk. What? I did do it. Ooh, Lupe? Okay. Uh. Moose, pig, and raccoon is going to trap this thing on. He's going to trap the, the thing in the fox and geese. Okay, guys, here we go. Huh? Oh, now what? Since Mr. Talbot isn't here, could I play a game of fox and geese with you? You bet. Have a seat. Here are the rules. The white pieces are the geese. The black piece is the fox. The goal of the geese is to corner the fox so he can't move, while the goal of the fox is to gobble up geese so that they can't corner him. The geese can only move forward along a line to the next point, either directly forwards, diagonally, or sideways. Same thing for the fox, except when he's next to a goose that has an empty spot directly behind it. He can jump over it. Gobble it up. Right. Gobble it up and remove it from the board. You just take turns and play until somebody wins and somebody loses. I'll be the fox. Ready? Would you mind if we use this little pig I found in place of the fox piece? Fine by me. Oh, well, that bites. Yay! You're pretty good. Well, would you look at that? His eyes turned red. That is some pig you got yourself there. Okay, if we start over. Get over here. Come on, just eat that one as a sacrifice.
Yeah, I got it, you guys. No! No! Stupid. Stupid thing! Okay, if we start over. I didn't have enough, so I had to restart it. And eat that one over there. Yay! Good job. Another win? Another set of red eyes. Now you get the pig. Okay, if we start over. One more. He's gonna go there, boom, boom. Come on, take the bait. I think I've got him. <sighs> Almost at that. Uh. Yay! You win. Another win. Another set of red eyes. Okay. Um. That's everything. Jump with box and keys. Me and my the phone, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, you have to clean whatever guest rooms need cleaning, or pretty soon I won't have any guests. Understand? I did clean them. I did clean them, see? No more signs. Hey, Nancy, phone. I can't do them! It's past noon, and Ollie says all the guest rooms still haven't been cleaned. Now get cracking! But. Done. Done.
done. Done. See? Nothing for me to do. This is where I dump the laundry bag. Okay, now let's see if I can get out the door now. Finally! Jeez, I've never had that happen before. Cold. Forward, left, left. Paw. Isis, forward, left, left. Paw, go. Forward, forward, forward. Jump. Paw. Isis. Forward, forward, forward. Jump. Paw. Go. So I think the I think the lighting in, in here looks a lot better than it did in my previous stream. <laughs> Last one. Forward. Right. Forward. Jump. Left. Paw. Isis. Forward. Right. Forward. Jump. Left. Paw. Go. here and do the, like the little things whatever man I'm freezing
A black snowmobiling outfit, and it's missing a piece of material. I'd sure like to know who this belongs to. You see Brea. This bag must belong to Lou. Oh my gosh, it's full of explosives. Lou is the one who's been making those craters. He lied to me. He has been looking for dinosaur bones. This is so creepy. It's just like a creepy feeling. Hello? Oh my gosh. Is someone in here? That would like scare me. Hello? Nancy? Yanni? What are you doing here? I was skiing, but when I passed the needle, I saw that there was a door in it. A door which was open. So I took off my skis to look, and now I am here. What is this place? All I know is, I found a bag, Lou Talbot's bag, and it's full of explosives. Lou is the one who has been blowing up things. He is the bomber. He's been excavating dinosaur bones. He may be responsible for a lot of the other stuff that's been going on around here, too. You must stay here and guard the bag. I will ski back to the lodge very quickly and tell the handyman to call the authorities. Then I will return. You will be safe? Perhaps I should stay. No, no, you go. I'll be fine. I will hurry. Looks like Yanni dropped something. It's that thing he's always wearing on his arm. Hey, Yanni! You dropped something! Yanni? <sighs> She's got a glove from that snowmobiling suit Lou left behind. Wait a minute. What she just did means the scent on that glove and the scent on that thing Yanni dropped are the same. Which means a person who's been wearing that snowmobiling suit and blowing things up is Yanni. Geophone data... uranium? Oh my gosh, he set the timer. It looks like he's about to blow up the needle. Isis, we've got to get out of here fast. Oh, that would hurt. And that would as well. Yanni's getting away. What in blazes happened here? Ollie, I need to borrow your snowmobile. I'll explain later. Oh, I hate this part. Like you don't want to blink that much, and then, jeez, oh you know, like your eyes are just look funny because you're looking at blink, just staring like a white. Oh, jeez, it's like plain white. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no! Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at least they landed in snow. Lying there in the snow, defeated, Yanni owned up to everything. He tainted the potato salad with bad mayonnaise, he iced down the back stairs, he opened a gas valve in the sauna, he blew up the bunkhouse using the clock he took from Guadalupe's room, and he left those pictures of Bill Kessler for me in the sauna, although he swears the door got stuck by accident, in order to cast suspicion on someone else. He did all this because he wanted everyone to leave Icicle Creek Lodge. Why? Because it turns out that he was actually spying for the government of Fredonia, which had sent him to Canada to look for uranium. Apparently, his superiors hoped to secretly mine what he found and smuggle it back to Fredonia. 
What they planned to do with it then, even Yanni didn't know. But he insisted that he never meant to hurt anyone, and that he really was the best cross-country skier in the world. Unfortunately, he'll never get a chance to prove that now. Chantal has barely been off the phone since she got back to the lodge. It seems that Yanni shenanigans made the nightly news, not just in Canada, but in the States. And as a result, people have been booking stays right and left, much to her delight. Yay. When I told her and Ollie how Isis had helped me, they were truly amazed. Hopefully, from now on, Ollie will think twice about pulling out his rifle every time he sees a varmint. As for Isis, Guadalupe called me that very night and told me she'd found a wolf sanctuary that could take her. I could tell from the way the volunteers from the sanctuary treated her when they came to get her that she'll be in good hands at her new home. Yay. But still, it's sad that through no fault of her own, she could never run free again. They said it's possible that she might someday be released back into the wild, but not very likely. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed anyway. Uh, hey, hey, Sassy, congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of Dear Detective for Superlatory Sleuthing. Wow. Next game I'm playing next Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday. When Beth suggested we head to New Orleans for a short vacation, I thought it was a great idea. The French Quarter, fantastic food, awesome music, friendly people. But all it took was one little side trip to check on a friend of Ned's, and suddenly everything got very strange. A recent death, a musty old mansion, a disturbingly odd curio shop, a garden where only secrets seemed to grow, and something as ancient as it was terrifying. Join me on my next adventure, Legend of the Crystal Skull. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, you guys. Finished the game and I've only been playing for 39 minutes. Okay. So, did you all see... I totally forgot about this. Uh, Chrissy, you are welcome for the stream. Um, did you all see uh, her interactive's new video that they posted two days ago? That was really fun. It was really, it was really cool to watch. Um, anyway, you guys, thank you all so much for stopping by. This video will be up on my YouTube soon. Um... If you're not subscribed to my YouTube already, please do so, um, and be sure to click the little bell icon so you don't miss, um, so, sorry, so you get a notification whenever I post a video, and you can set up on Twitch as well, to where you get a notification whenever I go live, so you don't miss me streaming, via email or through the Twitch app if you have it. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all links to all my social media down below for you all, in both Twitch and YouTube. Um, and I hope you all can join me, uh, tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time when I start playing John Marston's story in Red Dead Redemption, uh, in preparation for Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out on October 26th, which is this Friday. Hope you all had a great time. I hope you all will be able to join me tonight. It was a fun game. Um, I'll actually post my favorite trailer of the first game on my Twitter and Facebook account if y'all, if, if y'all want, um, before I... You know, sometime today before I stream at 6. So you get a little sense of what the game is about. Um, I'm going to click on the slideshow for just uh, about a minute or so. And then, she's good. I want to check on her again. Um, you know, but yeah, I got to go. I need to do my nails done again. They look bad. Um, but anyway, hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a good week considering today's sunday um and hope to see you all tonight at 6 p.m eastern time and i start playing john marston story in red dead redemption bye everybody